everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you this little envelope journal that I created. I have um, been feeling under the weather, but when I saw the uh, creation, beautiful creation made by Martha from Bird and Barnes Designs, I had to get this kit out and play with it. So um, this is the kit, the last kit that I got from Doreen, that is the Biscotti Silk Cafe um, kit, I believe it was, and it also has pieces from some of the other Biscotti kits, and I of course will have a link below to Doreen's Etsy, but I saw um, what Martha did with hers, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to play with it, so I got out my box of hoodies, and this is what I created. And um, below in the description box, you can find the links to all the other designers on Doreen's team. And Martha is um, one of those. So you'll find a link to Martha's channel uh, below also. So you can go see the beautiful thing that she created with this same kit. So let me just jump right in. I made this using the big envelope that came in the kit and um, that is what I made the cover out of. And then I covered it with the beautiful papers in the kit and I made a pocket right here. So in this pocket is this little, um, bear with me y'all, it's a tag, <laughs> sorry. And then this is a beautiful tag I created from the kit. Look at this digital. And I want you to know that I did start out doing a step-by-step -step with this, going through the inking and all of the things. And then the cutest little four-year-old called me and wanted to uh, give me a puppet show. And so I enjoyed every minute of that and forgot to push record while I was <laughs> decorating my journal and getting a puppet show so my apologies <laughs> so we've just got the kind of flip through um, I ruffled up uh, some of this gold netting and some of this um, tool trim with gold polka dots I got both of those at the clearance section on Hobby Lobby so I used that on the cover and then I have some um, vintage bridal trim. Um, I believe this is for my aunt's wedding gown, so I put that right there. This is a beautiful dangle that came in the kit. And I just left it the way it was because it's already gorgeous. So it's all on just a little bulb pin and pinned up here to the side. I layered on some laces. Uh, a white rosette and this gorgeous bow. She loved that bow. And then here is the back, more of that gorgeous, gorgeous printable. And I went ahead and ruffled up some more of that combination and put it right there in another applique. And so the um, in the envelope made two pockets on the cover and on the back and I just put in those these, these little journals and I created this bow from uh, a bow that came in that physical kit that I dissected and here's a piece of that I just love those polka dot uh, netting trim and then a bow from one of the biscotti kits and then look at this it's gorgeous just gorgeous. So inside here, this one has some beautifully dyed parchment paper and then just blank pages. So that's the one from the front pocket. Let's see if I can get it back in there without bending it up. But I like, I made it so that it would stick out the top and that the bow would be right there. She's so cute. <clears throat> and I did a little bit of stickling on the front. So I used this uh, card that was in the uh, kit and I used it to make a flip out so it made the pocket on the front. 
and then it also made this flip out right here. So here is a glassine bag that was in the kit. And so inside the glassine bag, oh, I should have made a little pull tab, obviously, because I can't get it. This came from the kit too, and I just stenciled on it and inked it up. So cute. Her kits come with everything. And I made a pocket right here with this cute little file folder that I got, I believe, from my friend Marie in some dyed things that I purchased from her Etsy shop. And there's, of course, a link to Marie's channel below, too. And this is a snippet off of a piece that Marie made that was in our last kit. And then I just kind of collaged on top of that. And then I left this because I, I wanted to leave a lot of places to journal in this little um, journal. <laughs> so I left that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here is a really pretty copper clip with just some lace and a couple of other pieces that were in the physical kit. This is half of a beautiful page that was created by Lene for the last kit we received. Isn't it so, so cute? So that's right there. I did stencil lightly on all the pages just because I love, I love how that looks and it doesn't get in the way if you want to journal. Another beautiful page from the kit with some lace. Then I used um, this book paper that I got in my kit. I folded it in half and it, so it would make a pocket and then I just sewed it. So it's, it's uh, got a pocket back here and then this doily was in the kit and I wrapped it around the page to make pockets also. So it's got lots of little places to tuck tags, lots of places for journaling. Yo, I am so sorry about my voice. Apologies. There's another tag. And I got this really beautiful paper clip from um, this monthly kit that I get that was in there and I was like that's so super cute so I wanted to add it to this journal and then on this side is another pocket with a tag a beautiful background page that was in the kit that she sent this is just a little cluster of clipped on goodies that was in the kit just the way that it is and I left it because it's just cute another beautiful page with some lace, more stencils. Here's the other side of that. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that was a book page. This is a music page and it's in the middle. And I did the same thing. I folded it in half and made a pocket. This was an applique that was in the kit. I used it for a tuck spot. And I found this in my stash and I feel like some of this is from a really old kit that I got from Doreen and some of it I made myself like I'm pretty sure this came from a kit I got from Doreen years ago and that too I feel like it's just been hanging out in my stash and then I collaged that piece and that piece but I was like okay so cute so that just tucks right in there and then we've got, uh, I created some shabby bows and popped a button on. And then this little card was in the kit and I thought made a nice journaling spot and I just collaged some bits right here. Did you love this paper clip? I just absolutely love this paper clip. It's so stinking cute. And then I created this little snippet cluster, one of my favorite things to do like a snippet strip so I've got that right there Let's see if I can get that back on there Maybe. so cute and then another tag over here with a shabby bow and a button I love it <coughs> excuse me and then I have this tag just clipped on the side of that pretty clip. 
more journaling spot. Look at this beautiful page. The other side of that beautiful paper that Lene created. Just gorgeous. More journaling spots. Pretty papers with lace. Just so pretty. I had so much fun with this, you guys. So here's the other part of that book paper. And I covered this um, envelope with fabric and then I attached it to the pocket so it would make like a flip out. And I figured you could journal around here with no problem. And then inside the envelope is a tag. And then inside the pocket is this tag I created out of this beautiful uh, piece I cut off of the digital. Isn't it gorgeous? Her digitals are so stinking cute. And this little cutie was in my last kit too. So i just put that right there because it's adorable. And then this is more of the beautiful digital and I created a pocket right there too with another tag. There's so many tags that you could journal on in here. Just so many journaling places. Just beautiful. And all of these papers, most of these papers came out of my last physical kit that I got from Doreen. And so on the back page, I made a pocket with this lace that was in the kit. And then this was in the kit also. There was two of those. So I just folded this one up and added it. And I figured you could just journal all over that. And it fits really nicely right there. And then in this back pocket is just another little journal with one of the shabby bows I created on top. This beautiful paper from Doreen's kit. And then inside this one is this dyed uh, doily that was in the kit that I got, I believe it was in my kit from Doreen. And in the middle is some of this dyed paper that I got from Marie and then just some blank pages for more journaling. So completely full of places to journal. Um, I was inspired by Martha for all of the pockets and flip outs. <laughs> Although hers is much bigger and just amazing and beautiful. This is all I had in me right now. <laughs> so. Uh, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Be sure you follow the links below to Doreen's Etsy store and to all the other designers. And I hope you're all doing well and I will see you soon. Bye everybody.